The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga is really an urban university. You can live downtown, you can walk to campus, have lots of good restaurants, a lot of good cultural life. So the environment for the university is really conducive to good study and to good research. It's really a pioneer because of the good leadership that the city has had. UTC is a great place to study for numerous reasons. The Center for Urban Informatics and Progress, we maintain a test bed. It provides a place to test and validate research in a real-world environment right in the heart of downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee. In 2019, we deployed the MLK Smart Corridor. The idea behind it was a real-world environment for the development, testing, and validation of smart city connected autonomous vehicle applications. We utilize that test bed, the sensors, and the infrastructure to generate real-world data that we can utilize for a wide range of research projects. First of all, we want it to be open for others to come and use it. So one of the criteria there was being able to remotely access it. So that was one of the things that Austin Harris and our team spent a lot of time on the data infrastructure to be able to make it in a way that others can use it. In addition to that, we wanted to make sure that we have different technologies and not make it obsolete because technology improves on a daily basis. When we started, the technology for connected vehicle was DSRC, dedicated short range communication. But as all we know with the changes that FCC did with DSRC, we learned that, okay, DSRC might not be the future. And as time passes, we know that that chance is lowering and lowering. So then CV2X was. That's where we are partnering with Applied Information. We added their dual units, DSRC and CV2X, on the testbed, and we are going to be expanding that. The original deployment of the testbed consisted of 11 signalized intersections. And within the last 12 months, we've received funding for uh, two different expansion projects. One will expand onto Highway 27 to give us more of a diverse environment so we can look at different types of use cases on the highway. And additionally, another funding will fund an additional 27 intersections that runs parallel with the original test bed. A rough number will be 48 signalized intersections. Dr. Sartipi is a great leader. She has the right expertise. She's also a preferred collaborator, recognized by other colleagues in academia, but also in the industrial space. We needed a visionary leader. She certainly is it. I worked under Dr. Sotipi as an undergraduate and a graduate, and she was a mentor throughout. What brought me back around, actually, was developing the data infrastructure to support the testbed. It's been amazing to see what we've done together, and I'm excited to see what's come in the future as we continue to grow. They're so lovely. Working with Dr. Mina Sartibi and Austin Harris, they're collaborative and you're not dealing with a supervisor, you're dealing with a friend. One of the things that intentionally from the very beginning I had was making sure my team was diverse. I wanted to make it in an environment that it was safe for everybody. So our students come from many different countries and they are not here because they couldn't go somewhere else. A lot of work that is being going on today at UTC is the reason they want to come here because they know the kind of personal training they get with us. Like, you know, we are really a team. And I always tell my team members that this is my second family. We are in it together. We have the same goal. I understand they are here to get their education and I'm here to make sure that they get the best education they can.